Hello Geek fans, it's time for another Shane Reads. And what did the Jacob force me to read this week? Do, 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 do. <gasps> Justice League, the villain's journey. Now here's the deal, Jacob gives me a comic book. You might have forgotten about this because I've been a little lax on my comic book reading. I'm busy at school, so Jacob's been trying to get me to read this for like, like, like six it's, weeks? Yeah, like <laughs> over a month. <laughs> <laughs> over a month now. Um, I finally got around to it, so now we're going to talk about it, and then we're going to rate it on my bizarre medium rating system because I'm kind of medium about comic books. They're not really my thing exactly. Um, Jacob, tell me a little bit about this. Alright, so... If you read the first one or watched our review of it, um, you see this guy. It, he has a very small part in it. He writes a book about Justice League and how they, they save the city and the world, pretty much. And, uh, and, and it's really cool, though, that the device, because at the very end of it, don't they have like parts of the book? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they have parts of the book at, at the end of the comic. It's, so it's really, I really like the device. Yeah. But there's something that has, has gone wrong with him, and now he's become a supervillain, and he has to fight the Justice League now, <laughs> but um, they also have stuff uh, at the beginning of the book, it's like side story stuff, they have uh, a green arrow in there, and it's pretty much all set up to form the uh, Justice League of America, which is different than uh, Justice League, but what do you think of it? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't that big a, big a fan of it. Okay. First of all, you know I don't like the green arrow. Yeah. <laughs> so every scene he was in, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I actually like his, his parts in that. Jacob, and again, it's, it's a thing with Batman that bothers me. I see these super power people fighting, and Batman's right alongside him. Like, like there's scenes with Batman and Superman where they're, they're, they're duking it out with, with like monsters right right. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. They're, they're, so I, it's hard for me to separate that. It's yeah. hard. I, re I, I really like the first uh, volume of this, as you recall. Yeah. As I thought they, they did a really good job of introducing, introducing the Justice League. Um, my only problem was Batman. Yeah. Here they amplify that, because th there's still the Batman issue. He does play a, b a better role in this, yeah. as like he just seems more reasonable than the other people. Yeah. But the problem there is it almost seems forced. Because if you see the people in their own comic books or in their own world, it's like, they're, they're not so ridiculous. Like here it's like they suddenly become stupid, yeah. almost. And Batman has to correct them. It's like, what? Yeah. That, that's a little awkward. And then I don't like Green Arrow. I, and then I don't like him, but he just really sticks out. More, um, more than Batman? Yeah, more yeah. than Batman. More. I mean, Batman's not using a, a bow and arrow. But, but, right? And Batman has yeah. uses more technology, you know, to, but, to augment yeah. himself. They actually point out that he doesn't fit in this group, in the comic at least. Like, like, yeah, that, that's true. You, he, uh, credit to them, you're right. During that one part, like, he just shoots uh, the, uh, the robot in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And he's like, I helped look. But, but um, I actually like uh, his comic. I didn't like it as much as the first one. I thought the uh, first one was was a really good introduction, but this one it it, it had like it had the the whole uh, like uh, sequel syndrome where it, it's not as good as the first one. But I also thought it had the generic villain villain syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my family died, and I for some bizarre nonsensical reason blame it on the heroes. Yeah, and now I become a supervillain. Yeah. What? I mean, that's yeah. this, that's so generic yeah. and played out. Yeah. And, and and the whole like fight scene at the end, it, it w wasn't really that big of a deal. Like, they're fighting, like, uh, duplicates of themselves, right? They're fighting, they're, they're fighting, uh, like, basically, they're fighting their own minds. Okay. Like, because cause he's showing, like, somehow he's showing images of them of things they don't like. Like, so they show, um, like, for Bruce Wayne, he keeps seeing his parents die. Uh, for, you know, other characters, The Flash, he's, he's like, ah, oh, I can't save my dad, like, my mom yeah, died, yeah. right? And he, here's another problem I have with the book. Um, I had the problem of undermining your characters. Okay. This this is a, a a little bit more of a meta issue that I, I want to talk about in detail on an editorial segment about when you introduce characters and, and you establish them, like say Superman for example. I never liked Superman, and uh, until that n the n new movie uh, Man of Steel. Yeah. I love that movie. Before then, I always hated Superman. I hated him because he was this old, super overpowered character that you couldn't put any credible challenges in front of. And I felt like the Man in Steel actually showed like how powerful he was and that he's a god, yeah. right? The things he does are so amazing where that becomes, now the question becomes a moral question. like, I am so powerful. What is my role in this world, yeah. right? Look at all the destruction he causes because of his power. Um, and, and, uh, and I like that establishment of Super King as a powerful character and I don't want that to be un undermined. And this, the characters seem so easily beaten by this guy. Yeah. I'm like, what? 
These guys are gods! Yeah. How are they so easily beaten by this dude? They need to come up with more clever ways to challenge him, and I feel the way that they should do that is not by directly, you know, let's go, well, come on, let's, let's fight it out, Superman! Don't do that. What you do is you create moral dilemmas for Superman. Yeah. Well, I got Lois Lane over here, and I got yeah. other people over here. Who yeah. are you gonna save, Superman? Yeah. Who are you gonna save? That's the clever writing. You know, and then occasionally, you throw in the super powerful guy, then it's like, oh my god, he can fight Superman, yeah. he can fight Green Man, you know, then it then it actually has impact. Yeah. When it, you give me so many comic books, Jacob, where every time they match the villain to, to the, the character's power level. So yeah. Batman never fights Superman villains because they're too powerful. Yeah. And Superman never gets a Joker, right? You know what I mean? They, 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 yeah. It's too obvious, it's too contrived. I want some... It's, 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 it's one of the reasons why I'm media and comic books. I see these tropes over and over again, and I can't get over them. Yeah, they I, bother me. I actually really like the uh, the Justice League series, but this part of it 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 doesn't 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 uh, stand up to to the rest of it. But um, I I, I did I, I was pretty uh, pretty much uh, medium on this. It was it was just okay. They have a, a a really good part where Superman and Wonder Woman. Actually, hook up. It's a, it's a uh, relationship that, that I was, makes sense. I, I was waiting for some more hardcore pictures, but that was fine. <laughs> Can't put those, Shane. But, <laughs> but it, it's an okay book. I, I would I would uh, rec recommend uh, picking it up just to see um, ha how it uh, continues after the first book. Um, there's actually another part where um, that re that one um, spread uh, where it was a. Uh, Martian Manhunter. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you want to see more of that. But, I do want to see more of Martian Manhunter. But that continues in Justice League of America, which I haven't read. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, so you give it a medium. I'm giving this a medium minus. Yeah. Yeah. Like it wasn't terrible. Like at some points, I I I thought it was good. It it didn't. It, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the worst. Um, I, I like some of the random, some random aspects. For example, this yeah. scene where Green Lantern is creating umbrellas for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that was just clever. It's like a clever thing they just threw in there. Um, I also liked how Wonder Woman and Superman hooked up because to me, I go, yes, that's a perfect couple. It makes yeah. sense. And I actually read the um, the first volume of the Superman um, uh, series of New 52, and it, uh, it creates an interesting conflict because he actually shows that he has feelings for Lois Lane in that comic book, but now in this, he's hooking up with uh, Wonder Woman, and I'm pretty sure they actually he actually saves with Wonder Woman uh, continuing on because they even have their own series, like a power couple series. I don't think they would do this. I'm not, maybe they would, but I would like comic books. Like, if they had that, I, I would like Superman to explore the fact that he's like, how can I have a physical relationship with this woman that I love? Yeah. Like, just, not on like a, like, oh, let's make it it's all about sex level, right? It, yes, it is about sex, but it's just about a physical relationship that you would have with another person, you know, just from cuddling, just from touching each other, right? Yeah. How he has to restrain himself so much, he can't, he, he can't interact with her in the way like a normal person would. Whereas Wonder Woman, he can. Yeah. And this had that like psychological drama is like, like I love this woman, I love this woman, but on a practical level, I, I, I think I can't be with her. Yeah. Right. That would be interesting to me. Yeah. They not. I don't know if they they ever do that. They ever will do that. They might will eventually. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Jacob, uh, let me move on to what I'm going to read next week. Yep, we're going on to Star Wars here. Ooh, Star Wars, Princess Leia. Wait, what, what else is it? It's just a, is that yep, it? this is a whole series. This just a five issue mini series. I'll click into one book. We're gonna talk about next time. You're gonna read it in time this time. So stick around for that. Stay tuned. <laughs>